Hello guys, Harry here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are well. So guys, let's check out this Seiko Prospects Tuner in this video today. I reviewed the blue variant of this watch on my channel many months ago. Ended up selling that watch to one of my mates who absolutely love his watch. I bought this about five months ago now. So I've been wearing this watch for about five months now. Absolutely love this watch and cannot recommend this enough. So I paid 240 Australian dollars for this watch. The retail price is 625, obviously with Seiko. You don't wanna pay the full retail price and I'll always share with you guys what I pay for my watches. So that's what I paid for this watch and this watch is worth every dollar that I paid for it. Here is the uh, the hang tag, so that's the uh, reference number. This one is made in Japan. This is the JDM version of this watch. This is the, uh, the quartz, solar quartz, uh, caliber used by Seiko in this watch. So guys, let's dig in and let's check out this fantastic tuner from Seiko. So kicking it off with the dimensions first guys, we have a case size of 46.7 millimeters with a lug to lug distance of 46.1 millimeters. Now, don't let these dimensions deceive you in any way. This watch does not wear like a 46.7 millimeter watch. It wears much smaller than its true size and I'll put it on my wrist at the end of the video to show you how it fits on my average wrist. We have a lug width of 22 millimeters and a case thickness of 12 millimeters. Now looking at the rest of the watch, we have um, this black shroud covering the uh, outer part of the uh, case held in place by, let's call them uh, these three screws. I really like this black and silver combination on this watch. This stainless steel 120 click unidirectional bezel gives you a lot of purchase. You get a really nice clicking function from this bezel and it does line up really, really nicely as well. There's barely any back play on this bezel. As I said, I really like this black and silver combination on this watch. The, uh, the pip loom on this one sits a little deeper on the bezel itself and you got these black markers on this uh, stainless steel bezel again they really nicely pop as well the glass on this one is only hard lex crystal you're not going to get sapphire crystal from seiko unfortunately at these price points but for the price that i paid for this watch which is less than 250 australian dollars i can easily let that pass and the texture on this uh, dial is really really nice as well let me give you a bit of a close-up so you can see that what i'm talking about so you can see that grainy texture on the dial. It's not a matte black dial. It has a really nice texture and it really pops out in the, uh, in the sunlight, in the natural light, you'll be able to see that dial popping really nicely. Now, one thing I noticed that I couldn't find any AR coating on this glass, so you'll get a lot of reflection uh, from this glass from certain angles. I really like the, uh, the, the markers on this uh, watch as well. They give you that retro look. They have this retro uh, patina to them and these rectangular markers really match up nicely with the uh, with the minute and the hour hand as well and with that kind of lollipop loom on the uh, second sand we got seiko printed underneath 12 o'clock then you can see the prospects logo with solar divers 200 meters printed above six o'clock there we got the uh, the date complication at four o'clock and the crown at four o'clock as well unsigned crown as expected from Seiko anyway, this is a screw down crown. You get 200 meters of water resistance from this watch with a screw down crown and a screw down case back. And in the loom department, you get plenty of loom from this watch as well. So let's check out the loom as well. So as I said, guys, there it is. Plenty of loom on this watch. Seiko's Lumi Bright definitely does not disappoint on this one. You can see the pip loom there as well. You can see the uh, second hand ticking away with that lollipop loom on the second hand. No loom at four o'clock because that part of the dial is taken up by the uh, date window. So we miss the loom at four o'clock, but whatever we have, it absolutely pops. I really like this blue tinge or blue color of this loom. And uh, as I said earlier, Seiko's Lumi Bright definitely does not disappoint on this one. Really like the loom and the longevity of loom on this watch. Now let's check out this strap as well. Now let me tell you one thing about this strap and that is it's really comfortable, it's really soft and it has a lot of flex to it. You can wear this watch all day long on this strap without any problems at all or without feeling the need of really taking it off or this strap really irritating you. The only reason I took it off after a week or so 
because I really wanted to keep this in a mint condition and to be true I've been wearing this watch on this rubber strap and this strap has been through quite a few watches uh, in my collection and um, depending on what I'm wearing the most I swap this strap out for the uh, the factory or the original strap and I'll wear the watch on this strap especially for my uh, divers watches and and this Seiko has been on this strap for nearly about four four and a half months now but coming back to this strap so you get one oversized keeper of the same material as the uh, the strap i've been really liking seiko's stainless steel keepers now if you notice the uh, the last video that i made of another seiko diver that watch had the um, had that stainless steel keeper with the with seiko printed on the keeper itself with a brushed finish to it really absolutely loved it now on the buckle we got a stainless steel buckle but which is unsigned unfortunately no seiko signage on the uh, outside of the buckle you do get Seiko on the inside though as I said really comfortable and really nice uh, strap but I'll give you a couple of um, other strap shots as well on that rubber strap that I showed you earlier and on a NATO strap as well that you can see on your screen right now so this watch is really versatile you can uh, swap this strap out for uh, multiple other options you can even uh, chuck a stainless steel bracelet if you want but um, I will recommend a black rubber strap for this one and it really really pops with the uh, with the look of this watch now looking at the case back we get a closed case back on this one it is a screw down case back with a screw down crown you get 200 meters of water resistance which is referenced on the case back as you can see this watch is ISO certified the finishing on the case back is high polished you can see the uh, reference mate to the uh, solar quartz movement used in this watch as well which is V157 Plus to minus 15 seconds per month is the stated tolerance. You can see the chart on your uh, screen right now making reference to the amount of time needed depending on the light used to charge this watch. Once the watch is fully charged, you'll be able to get up to 10 months of usage on this watch. So kind of a set and forget uh, kind of a watch. This one is made in Japan as you can see referenced on the case back. Prospects logo. And now let me just quickly put it on my wrist to show you how this fits my average uh, wrist as I mentioned earlier this watch does not wear like a 46.7 millimeter case it wears much smaller than that and um, I'll quickly show you that now my wrist size is 7 inches and you will see that for my average wrist it does wear rather really really nicely so um, here it is guys as you can see if this watch were like a normal 46.7 millimeter case this will look much bigger on my wrist there is no lug overhang as you can see and i really like the quality control on this one as well with no um no uh, issues with the um with the misaligned bezel and that seconds hand is ticking those uh, minute markers really really nicely as well so overall absolutely love this watch love the texture on the um uh, on the dial love those retro looking markers on this one and they match up really nicely with the hands love this stainless steel bezel has a really nice clicking function to it love the shroud on this one as well and as i said this um, strap is really really comfortable but i've been wearing this watch on the other rubber strap which i personally really uh, like but no complaints with this strap either yes if this watch had a sapphire crystal would have been better but again for the price that i've paid which is less than 250 bucks i can easily live with having a hard lex crystal on this one so guys thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in my next video shortly until then stay safe and look after one another thank you again